All right. Good morning. Or good evening. Good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Um, welcome back to Quitting Weed by Michael Lyons. The online... Um, I don't know what, what to call it. I don't think guys should call it a diary, all right? It's a journal. The online video journal of the 30-year and counting addict known as Michael Lyons. Uh, just documenting, uh, who cares? Maybe, maybe this show shouldn't be about that. All right, take two, take two. Let's start over. Out on the road today, I saw a deadhead sticker on the Cadillac. A little voice inside my head said, don't look back. You could never look back. I thought I knew what love was. What did I know? Those days are gone forever. I should just let them go, but... Uh, no, no. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I was just thinking about the good old days. Back in the days of the, of the boys of summer. I was walking around the other day and I smelled freshly cut grass and it recently rained. And even though it was right in the city limits of Bemidji, I could smell fish. And it reminded me of the last great summer I ever had. The summer of 1985. I mean, I hate to just disparage every summer since then, you know. My life has been what it's been. But it was never quite as glorious as it was in 1985 when I was 18. I had a circle of friends and we all partied together. There was David and Brent, Terry, Chris, Randy, Lenny. We were a merry band of brothers. We had all grown up together, played baseball together, basketball, rode our bikes together, drank together, smoked together, fought for each other, you know, we'd done everything and now we were 18 and we were the boys of summer. I think that was the that was the first time I'd ever smoked pot. With Brent and Randy and Rush. <laughs> Begin the day with a friendly voice, a companion unobtrusive. Play that song that's so elusive, and the magic music makes your morning move. I'm the only one who still smokes of all of the three of us. Well, Randy's no longer with us. Nobody's ever talked about it, but he did not look good near the end. You know, some people say, oh, weed's a gateway drug. Well, I, I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, I guess everything's a gateway drug. Sugar is a gateway drug to cigarettes. Cigarettes are a gateway to beer. Beer is a gateway to weed. And a lot of small town good people get caught up in that meth. I don't know if Randy smoked meth. But he looked like he did. And he died young. Brent didn't keep smoking weed, but he became an alcoholic. He was in a coma for like a week. And the guy looks like an athlete. He looks 
very healthy, but he's not. You know, I think alcohol is the most destructive drug I've ever seen. But I've never known anybody who's done heroin or cocaine. When you want to get down, get down on the ground, cocaine. I, I, I hate, what's that guy's name? Eric Clapton. I don't know why people treat him like he's a great musician. Every one of his song, songs is worse than the last. <laughs> Bob Dylan, same thing. But who cares? So here's a song I wrote. <laughs> I'm going to be all critical of other songwriters. Here's a song I wrote called Emily. And I wrote it under the, uh, the effects of marijuana. <laughs> Miigwechka, bizendawiag. Thank you for listening. And I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minowa. Tawa. Emily's got one crazy eye She looks to the west and she looks to the sky Don't ask her how she sees When she looks, she's watching you
Emily's got one crazy eye. She looks to the west, she looks to the sky. 